Welcome back with a new math tutorial. This video will know how can we order the whole numbers in this book. So in question number one, we need to order each number from the least to the least. Now we have 56.7, 64.3, 59.0, 64.5. Number one, we have four numbers. We need to compare between them. So at the first, put all of the decimals under each other. Write the first number, which is 56. 0.7 and the second number which is 64.3 after that we just write 59.0 the last one was 64.5 now we need to arrange from the least to the least that means i need to find the smallest number to find the smallest number look at the smallest whole number the smallest whole number that we have here which is 56 so that will be the first number after that look at the next three numbers 59 will be the next one so that will be the second because i need to arrange from the smallest to the greatest now we have 64 and 64 for the whole number after that look at the disk we have one digit and one digit so we can compare between them once we have different whole numbers so just look at the whole numbers and find the smallest one whatever the number of digits at the right of the decimal ignore them just focus on the whole numbers but once we have here the same whole number, so just count how many digits are the right of the decimal. Once they are equal, so you can compare. If they are not equal, so complete the missing with zeros. So we have here 3 and 5. 3 is smaller than 5, so that will be the third number, and that will be the greatest number. So rewrite the numbers now. The first number will be 56.7. After that we have here 59.0. The next one will be 64.3. And the last one will be 64.5. Again, one more time in question number two. We have 0 0.76, 0 0.09, 0 0.63. To arrange the number at the first, put all of the decimals under each other. Now write the numbers without any change. After writing the number, look at the whole number. All of the whole numbers are the same. So before you start comparing the decimal, make sure that they have the same number of digits. You will find that all of them has only two digits at the right of the decimal point. So now we can compare between them. We need to arrange from the least to the greatest. It means we need to find the smallest number. The first number here is 76. And the second number which is 09. 09 which equals to 9. Then after that we have 63, and the last one will be 24. You will find that the smallest number now will be 9. After that we have 76, 63, 24. 24 will be the next one. We have 76 and 63. 63 is smaller than 76, so 63 will be the third number, and 76 will be the last one. So now we can write the numbers at 0 0.09. The next one will be 0 0.24. After that we have 0 0.63. And the last one will be equals 0 0.76. In question number 3 we need to compare between 8.9 and 8.59, 8.705, 8 8.05. Now to compare, at the first put all of the decimal point under each other then write the number. You will find that all of the whole numbers are the same. So to compare at the first look at the number of digits at the right of the decimal. Here we have only one digit, two digits, three digits, two digits. To compare between them, they must have the same number of digits. So complete the missing digits with zero. So one, two. Now we can compare. The first number here is 900, 509, 705, and 50. To compare between them, we need to arrange from the least to the greatest. You will find that the smallest number now will be equal to 50. After that, we have 900, 590, 705. So the next one now will be equals 590. After that, it will be equal to 705. And the last one now will be equals 900. So now we can write the numbers. So the first number now will be equals 8.5. After that, we have here. 8.59 and the next one will be 
8.705. And the last one now will be equals 8.9. And that's how can we arrange from the least to the greatest. In this part of the lesson, we need to arrange from the greatest to the smallest. As we arrange from the least to the greatest, we will start writing the numbers under each other. But be careful because we need all of the points to be under each other. So just write the numbers. If you look at the whole numbers, you will find that all of them are the same. Now count the number of digits at the right of the decimal. In all of the numbers, we have only two digits. So now we can compare between them. We need to find the greatest number. We have 43, 34, 5 and 18. The greatest number which is 43. After that we have 34. After that we have 18. And the last one will be equals 5. So now we can write the numbers. The first number is 2.43. And the next one now will be equals 2.34. After that we have 2.18. And the smallest one will be equals 2.05. In question number 11, we need to compare. To compare, just write the number in vertical form. But be careful to write each of the decimal point under each other. So just write the numbers. After writing the number, we need to arrange from the greatest to the smallest. You will find that we have different whole numbers. So even the number of digits at the right are the same or different, it doesn't matter. So we need to find the greatest number. You will find that we have 9 and 9. Both of them are the largest one. So now look at the decimal. We have only two digits. And here also we have two digits. They are the same. So now compare between 14 and 2. You will find that 14 is greater than 2. So that will be the first number and that will be the second one. After that, we have 7.99, 8.95, 8.91. We have 8 and 8. Both of them are the same. We have 95 and 91. 95 is greater than 91. So that would be the third, and that would be the fourth one. And the last one would be equals 7.99. So now we need to arrange them. So the first number now would be equals 9.14. After that, it will be equals 9.02. After that, will be equals 8.95. The fourth one will be equals 8.91. And the last one will be equals 7.99. In question number 13, we need to arrange. You will find that we have a number containing a decimal and numbers without decimal. Any number without decimal, just put the decimal at the right of the number. So we have 10 and 11 without decimal, just write the decimal at the right. So rewrite the number now. 9.8. After that we have 10 point. If there is no decimal number, just replace it with you. Then we have 10.2. After that we have 9.6. And the last one will be equals 11.0. Once there is no decimal point, just put the decimal point at the right of the number, then put 0. Now we can compare between them. We need to arrange from the greatest to the smallest. The greatest number now which is 11. After that we have 10 and 10. 10.0 and 10.2. 2 is greater than 0. So that will be the next and that will be the third. After that we have 9 and 9. So we can compare between 8 and 6. You will find that 8 is greater than 6. So that will be the fourth and 6 will be the last one. So now we can write the number. So the first number now will be 11.0. After that we have 10.2. And the next one will be equals 10.0. And the next one will be equals 9.8. And the last one now will be equals 9.6. And that's how can we order the decimal and the numbers from the least to the greatest and from the greatest to the least.